Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome to Leo Love Readings. This is a reading for Aries and Aries Cross Watchers. I have already prepared the deck, so we're going to go ahead and just get started, okay? I want to thank you guys for all of your likes, shares, your subscriptions, your beautiful comments, your donations, your bookings. Anything that you need about me, you're going to be able to find in the description box below the video, okay? Um, now, as I was shuffling and praying before I started your reading, I... All of those? Yeah, okay. I <clears throat> was getting a really strong justice on the bottom of the deck. I was getting a really strong message for you guys about rest, about resting, about <clears throat> doing the best that you can to stay in an, a near constant state of meditation and to only do what you are divinely guided to do and all the rest of the time do nothing. Okay, so that was a pretty um, strong message that I got before I started. So your first card is Knight of Pentacles. And here you are with the Fool. So somebody trying to start this new endeavor, but... Uh, in the past, maybe having a hard time moving forward. This energy of, of looking this new life, this new beginning in the eyes. And reflecting upon it. Resting, pausing. To really take it in. What, it's, what it means. Um, of course... Knowing that you're going to start this new thing, whatever it is, a new relationship, a new whatever, a new life cycle. When you are fortuitous enough to be in the position where you know that that's going to happen, then you're giving the opportunity to reflect on it and also look back on what you've done and where you've come and how far you've come and who you are and what decisions you made, why you made them, what new life lessons you learned that you can take with you into the new place and utilize. And those are the things that I feel going on with these two cards. So there's a pause and that is why. Because this person is taking this very seriously. Because this new, I'm feeling it's a relationship. This new relationship, this person is very serious about. This isn't, this is like, um, dating to marry type of energy. This is somebody who they recognize that this is going to change their whole life. They're very serious about this. Okay, we have the six of, of wands, and this is... Uh, they want victory. This is what they want. They want this to go well. They want to do good, is what I'm hearing. They want you to love them. They want you to accept them. They want you to celebrate them. And they celebrate you. They're looking at you this way. They're looking at other people looking at you. And how strong you are and how far you've come and all the things that you've accomplished. And this person is a little, a little intimidated by that. 
but they're also extremely in love with you for it. This is a masculine energy. So that was what I was feeling, but I didn't want to say anything until I got a few more cards. It doesn't necessarily mean it's a man. It could be a woman, but this is a masculine energy, and I feel for most of you this is a man. And he is the one who is in the Knight of Pentacles energy or has been in the recent past looking at you. Or if you're the man watching this reading, you're looking at someone. Or if you are one of the people watching this reading and this is a woman, she's looking at someone, whether it's a woman or a man. But this is a masculine energy. And this masculine energy, who I'm going to call him, because that's the most I'm feeling, is mostly it's a him. Um... He's emotionally mature. He's emotionally intelligent. And that is a rare find these days. And he recognizes that you are a rare find these days. There's, there are things about you that he admires. Things that are unusual is what I'm hearing. Like you have... You've accomplished things that are new. You've accomplished things that he has never seen anybody else do before. This is also like a, what is it, a Unitarian energy? So somebody could have Aquarius in their chart, but I'm feeling like this is somebody who is a, I'm hearing, remember, remember the 5th of November. Alright, so this is like a non-energy. This is like... Um, freedom rallies. This is somebody who, you know, rallies for the people. Gives a fuck about people. This could be like political energy or... But in like a... In a f form of like integrity, not common day politics but this is somebody who thinks outside the box this is a somebody who ha is a what is it, a, a radical thinker is what i'm hearing and this masculine energy loves that about you so you would be the one that i just described and he wants to give this offer. So when I see this in a love reading and the cards are positive, to me this means that spirit is backing this. Because that's the hand of the divine giving an offer. And generally the offer is then being given to the, the, the person who is receiving this reading. It doesn't always happen this way, but often. So what I mean by that is, say, this Knight of Pentacles, King of Cups, say this is a dude, right? And say that you, just for an example, you watching this reading, you're a chick. So spirits like, I give you permission, dude, to be with this chick. And I'm going to help you. So I'm going to give you this Ace of Pentacles. So that you can then move forward and offer this to the chick. So this masculine has been gifted something from the divine. Money, a house, something. It wasn't entirely all just from his own hard work. But he he's going to be coming forward and presenting this to you. Or vice versa. Put yourself where you fit. So we have the Four of Swords. That's that uh, the rest that I was getting that message about before I started resting. Staying in a state of rest. It's really important right now for some reason. 
it's probably because you're in preparation of a whole completely new life. Oh, Eight of Swords. So this might also be why. I, I think this would be on the side of the masculine who is get, giving this offer, but it could be mirrored energy. Or you could just be feeling it if you guys are pretty closely connected, but I feel like this is coming from the masculine's end, just in his head, thinking, overthinking. Like I said earlier, like really looking forward, looking back, reflecting, really in deep in thought. And this energy in itself creates a bit of a manifestation place resting and thinking resting and thinking and then letting your mind relax creates a state of manifestation a, a liminal space if you will if you know what that means two of cups this is your soulmate and this masculine knows this and you might know this but that's why the divine is um pulling for you guys and helping you guys out wow six of cups and the two of cups really heavy soulmate energy six of cups is past life soulmate two of cups is literally soulmate six of cups is literally soulmate these are the two soulmate cards and the regular true and you got them both and you got them both back to fucking back you don't have to have known this person since you were a child, but for some of you, you maybe did. But this is just about this love being so innocent and true and endearing and eternal and long-lasting. This is the love that many wish to find but never do, is what I'm hearing. Three of Swords. This is heartbreak. Heartache. King of Swords. And Page of Wands. So, what this means is while you, while this masculine energy is in the process of going through all of these things that I just described preparing to come forward and give you this offer. You might also re receive a visit or a message from this King of Swords energy, which is probably like a past lover or a past love interest, and they might come forward and maybe apologize for breaking your heart or tell you that they miss you, that they want to be with you again, um, pages are messengers, and that's a page of wands, so it could be a visit, it could be, it doesn't have to be face-to-face, -face, but for some of you it could be, but this is somebody who's trying to pull up on you. Um, I feel that it's a, I feel that it's a person from your past, and they can sense that they're about to lose you, and they don't want that to happen. But the energy that is crowning the entire rating is justice. So this is going to prevail. Um, it's sad to say for this past person, but I don't think that they're even going to get a shot. We have the Eight of Wands under that with the Strength. And Death. Death with the Ten of Pentacles. And then we also have the Lovers, which is... Basically what I was saying is I think that you're going to have two people come at the same time towards you. One of them is probably that past person and the other one is probably somebody new. And it will be a choice between the two, but we have death here and so it's saying you're going to you're going to set down you're go you're going to Choose the person who doesn't make you feel like this, who doesn't make you feel heavy, like like there's a burden. It could just kind of feel like closure to you. 
Um, this is uh, love messages. This is strength. This is overcoming. This is um, this king of cups and knight of pentacles person, this masculine, overcoming his silence and coming forward and telling you how he feels. So I think that's going to be happening with two different people at the same time, close to the same time. They're probably going to pop up into your life at a very similar time.